In this video, we're going to look at how to add additional cameras, web cameras, to VidBlaster. Now, as you can see, I'm working on a Mac here. This is a MacBook Pro running Mavericks. And this webcam is a Windows only webcam, but that doesn't really matter. I'll show you how it works. So what we're going to do to get started is close out a VidBlaster that we've got running here. Okay, now I'm going to plug in my Windows only webcam. What's going to happen? It's going to ask, where do I want the webcam to be connected? Do I want it connected to my Mac or to Windows? I want it connected to Windows. Okay. So now it's installing. This particular installation does not have the driver already. I need to add the driver. So what I'm going to do here up the top where my mouse is, is add the DVD drive in my Mac computer, connect it to the virtual machine. Now that that's dark gray, we can see that the drive is connected. So I'm going to pop the install DVD into the computer. Instead of opening the disk and automatically running the installed setup program, which is going to install a whole bunch of crazy software that I really don't want, I'm going to allow the Windows new hardware wizard to search the disk for the driver only. So I'm going to click no, not this time, because we have the disk. Install the software automatically. And now it's looking for the driver only. So I'm not going to get a whole bunch of other software that came with my web camera installed in this virtual machine. OK, XP is the operating system that I'm using here. Next. Yes, I do live in a 50 hertz area. This is something that you most probably definitely will not have on your installed CD or DVD for your webcam. Okay, it's completed installing the driver only for my camera. And it's successfully installed. Now I can go into VidBlaster. Okay, and as you can see, there's my default camera that's built into my laptop. Now, all I need to do to see the new camera, I'll just click that to make it a little bit bigger, is go into Modules, Add a Camera. There we go. And in the drop-down, I'm going to select my VGA USB camera. There we go. There's my new camera. So to switch between the two, I just simply click which camera there we go. How cool is that? So straight away, very, very easy to uh, install a couple of cameras and have multi-camera switching capabilities in VidBlaster on a, on a Mac running Windows in a virtual machine.